Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart. I'm back with another mini album made using um, cards and envelopes. And the um, the album itself measures seven and three quarters by five and a half, and the pages are seven by five, about seven by five. So the front, I'm actually using Graphic 45's brand new paper collection, Secret Garden. And what I've done for my cover is I've used some Prima flowers. I also um, cut out on another sheet of the same paper the fence, which I've then attached and kind of left the top part open so that I could stick down um, in the fence post this little um, quote. So it's very cute. It says, And the secret garden bloomed and bloomed, and every morning revealed new miracles. Francis Hodgson's Burnett Secret Garden. So, and then I included this Melissa Francis resin um, birdhouse, and I've attached all of this with hot glue, so it's going to stay forever. This is uh, some purple trim. I used some shabby chic flowers there for the spine, and then the back is finished off with some more purple um, trim there. Okay, so let's open up the album, and I have adapted um, the mini envelope tutorial. I've kind of adapted it to my own specifications. I do a different, little bit different assembly so that it just has a very clean look. I have a hard spine versus a soft spine, which the original tutorial from Kathy Orta calls for a soft spine because of how it's constructed. And so I don't have the flaps, so it's very clean here. I got a little flower there, and then I have lots of these uh, pullouts where I use the cards. And so, of course, you have lots of places to put pictures, and I've included um, mats for you as well, but I've also included a lot of pieces of the paper collection, which I've cut out for you, that you can either um, journal on the back or we could put pictures there. So whenever I make an album, I like to do something like that if the paper collection allows me to do that. And it's just sort of a fun, interactive piece to your book. So a lot of times when I buy a collection, if it doesn't come with journaling tags or things to cut out, I'll buy the chipboard or buy, you know, the, the stickers that go with it so that I can have some of that or tags if it comes with it. Because it's kind of nice and it does make it interactive. So here's the next um, page. And I kind of created a little place there. So, of course, you could stick a mat or a picture here. Um, I just kind of cut out these little pieces because I just thought they were really pretty. So, got a lot of these fun places for journaling or for tags. And they're just pretty. I'll put that in the front because it looks nicer. And so we've got our purple side, and then we open this, of course. We have this quad mat, and I like to put it back as I go along so that everything stays neat and tidy. Okay, so we have, of course, I didn't mention in this one, we also have the tall tag here. And then I created a pocket here with some more um, cutouts from the collection, as well as a full-size mat. On this side, um, I included on the inside here um, some cutouts and uh, hard to see because it's backwards. Here we go. So when I pull this one out, you can see it's I kind of taped a little bit of the tag here, so I think it just looks really nice. And it's got your it, you have your pockets right here, so. I, I love how this album came out, mainly because I think the paper collection is really beautiful. Um, Graphic 45's paper is just beautiful. So it makes a beautiful album. So we've got this. It opens up, of course, into your, your quad mat. So you can see that. And then I've got a pocket here, and it's got a mat as well as some full-size um, cutouts from the paper collection, which you could, of course, put pictures on it, you could leave it as it is, you could journal. So here we go here. And it just kind of continues. Lots and lots of fun tags and things. And so then this one over here, you have pull-outs here. I'll put that away in a 
minute. And just fabulous, fun. And these mats measure, this one, it, this one measures um, four by six. So they all fit full size pictures. No worries with that. And here's another quad mat. Okay. And then here's the back. And then the very back has some shabby chic flowers, which I think a picture right here between the flowers would be really beautiful. So thank you for watching. This is Cindy with Queen.